Hi. Thank you for taking our time to join me again. I'm glad you were here. I'd love to share a thought with you. As Christians, most times there's a quiet disconnect in the hearts of a whole lot of Christians um, when it comes to seeing what God has promised them come to pass. Um, a lot of us have the promises of God and we have these expectations, but um, once in a while you find a disconnect between that which was promised by God and the tangible experience that the Christian is having. The Bible makes it clear in Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. It says, For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen unto the glory of God. In other words, once God has promised, he has promised. He has given. Um, so if there's a challenge, it's not from heaven. If there's a challenge, it's usually from the equation where things go wrong from. And um, I want to share with you a thought that I believe will encourage you and take you a step closer to seeing the actualization of what God has already promised you. Um, what do I need to do in order to see God's promises come to pass in my life? There's a whole lot, but let me just point out one. There are usually certain necessary adjustments that as individuals we need to make in order to see the fulfillment of God's promise come to pass in our lives. Um, what does that mean? What you already do you already do. What you know, you know. The insights you have, you already have. The habits you have, you already have. But at times, what you're trusting God for requires a new set of skills. It requires a new way of thinking. It requires to adjust our associations. It requires getting out of our comfort zone into something that we are not very used to. And that's usually where the challenge comes to be because human beings are beings of habit and culture. And the moment we get used to something, we stick with it. And we now become frustrated because we're doing a set of things and there are certain things that we're expecting to come to pass, and they're not happening. And quietly underneath, there's this discontent. And some are vocal about it, some are not. But the truth of the matter is that God is not the one holding back stuff from us. He's not. There are certain adjustments we must make. So see this. Jesus made this statement in Luke chapter 5. From verse 36, he said that Jesus gave them this illustration. No one tears a piece of cloth from a new garment and uses it to patch an old garment. For then the new garment will be ruined, and the new patch wouldn't even match the old garment. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. For the new wine will bust the wineskins, spilling the wine and ruining the skins. New wine must be stored in new wineskins. I'm going to repeat that. That's verse 38, Luke chapter 5 and verse 38. New wines must, new wine must be stored in new wineskins. In other words, you cannot expect something new with the old mindset. You cannot expect something new with the old habits. You cannot expect something new with the old inputs. Inputs determines output. And if the inputs are not tallying to where it can produce 
the output you're trusting God for, then it is time to make an adjustment. But you see, there's a statement Jesus made here in verse 39 of Luke chapter 5. He says, but no one who drinks the old wine seems to want the new wine. The old is just fine, they say. Ah, that's the challenge we face every day. Jesus said, but no one who drinks the old wine seems to want the new wine. The moment we adjust to a certain way of living, people, even though they desire something new, are not willing to pay the price to get into the new, are not willing to get uncomfortable to get into the new, are not willing to give up what they are used to in order to experience the new. They are not willing to sacrifice the present in order to get the future. They are not willing to do that. Jesus put it this way, is that they said the old is just fine. I hope that won't be your statement. The old is just fine. There's something new God has for you and I. There's something bigger. There's something better. But you see, that requires an adjustment. That requires an adjustment. That requires stepping out of the comfort zone. That requires stepping out of the boat to walk on water. That requires cultivating a new set of skill that requires having to read much more than we've done in the past maybe talking to people that you're not comfortable talking with or something but you see the truth of the matter is if you will pay the price to do those uncomfortable things then that new level it's really worth it when you step into it. If you will be willing to give up the old, to make the necessary adjustments, to go for the new wine skin, then you will really experience that it's worth it when you've paid that price. So what am I saying in essence? Embrace the new wine skin. Embrace the necessary adjustment, no matter how uncomfortable it is, embrace it. Embrace it. Pastor, but I'm afraid. It's okay. Do it afraid. It's uncomfortable, yes. Do it in the midst of the discomfort. Okay, there, there are a lot of giants that have been buried by their comfort zone. And you and I must fight that. We must find that there's more God has for us. This is not all there is. There is more that God has for us. But we must be willing to embrace the new wine skin. So that way the new wine can be put in the new wine skin and a whole new horizon is opened for you. I celebrate you. I believe you have what it takes. I believe that you will take that step. You see, God is on your side. And the grace of God is available. God bless you.